In today's world, where everything seems to get more expensive by the day, learning how to save money has become more important than ever. Some people have mastered the art of spending wisely. They are what we call frugal. Being frugal doesn't mean being cheap or living without comforts. It means making smart choices with your money so that you can enjoy life without unnecessary stress. One key to frugal living is knowing when to say no to certain purchases. Frugal people often avoid buying things that others might consider essential. By doing so, they save a significant amount of money, which they can then use for more important things, like paying off debt, investing, or simply enjoying life without financial worries. In this video, we'll explore six common items that frugal people refuse to buy. These decisions might surprise you, but each one is a small step toward a bigger goal, financial freedom. Whether you're already living a frugal life or just starting to think about how to save money, these insights can help you make better choices and keep more money in your pocket. Number one, bottled water. Imagine you're at a convenience store, feeling thirsty, and you reach for a bottle of water. It seems like a small purchase, but for frugal people, buying bottled water is a big no. Why? Because it's an unnecessary expense that adds up over time. Frugal people know that tap water is often just as safe and refreshing as bottled water. Instead of spending money on something they can get for free at home, they invest in a reusable water bottle. This small change can save hundreds of dollars each year. Plus, it's better for the environment since it reduces plastic waste. Think about it. A bottle of water might cost a dollar or more. If you buy one every day, that's over $300 a year. By using a reusable bottle and filling it with tap or filtered water, you can keep that money in your wallet and use it for something more important. So, the next time you're tempted to grab a bottle of water, remember that frugal people skip it for a reason. It's a simple way to save money and live a more sustainable life. Number two, brand new cars. Buying a brand new car is exciting. The smell of a new car, the shiny exterior, and the latest features are hard to resist. But frugal people know that buying a brand new car is one of the worst financial decisions you can make. Why? Because as soon as you drive that new car off the lot, it loses value, sometimes as much as 20% in the first year alone. Frugal people prefer to buy used cars instead. They understand that a car's main purpose is to get you from one place to another, and a used car can do that just as well as a new one. By buying a car that is a few years old, they avoid the steep depreciation that new cars go through. This means they get a reliable vehicle for much less money. Another reason frugal people avoid new cars is the higher cost of insurance and taxes. New cars usually come with higher insurance premiums because they're more expensive to repair or replace. Plus, many states charge higher taxes on new cars, adding even more to the cost. By choosing a well-maintained used car, frugal people save thousands of dollars. They know that cars are a depreciating asset, something that loses value over time. So it's smarter to invest in something that holds its value or even grows in value, like stocks or real estate. In short, frugal people avoid new cars because they focus on what really matters, saving money and making smart financial decisions. Number three, designer clothing. Walking through a mall, you might see people carrying bags from expensive designer stores. The clothes inside those bags are stylish and often seen as a status symbol. But frugal people know that spending a lot of money on designer clothing doesn't always make sense. Instead of buying high-priced brands, they look for quality clothing that is durable, comfortable, and affordable. Frugal people understand that fashion trends come and go. They prefer to spend their money on classic, versatile pieces that never go out of style. These clothes can be mixed and matched, worn in different settings, and last for many years. By choosing well-made but reasonably priced clothing, they avoid the high costs of constantly updating their wardrobe with the latest trends. Another reason frugal people skip designer brands is that they know you're often paying more for the name than for the quality. Many designer items are made from the same materials as cheaper alternatives, but the brand's logo drives up the price. Frugal shoppers focus on value rather than labels, often finding great deals on clothes that look just as good without the hefty price tag. Frugal people also know how to find bargains. They shop during sales, visit outlet stores, or buy secondhand from thrift shops and online marketplaces. By being patient and smart about their purchases, 
They can dress well, without overspending. In summary, frugal people avoid designer clothing because they prioritize value and practicality over brand names. They know that looking good doesn't have to cost a fortune. Number 4. Expensive Gym Memberships Many people sign up for expensive gym memberships with the hope of getting fit, but frugal people know that there are cheaper and often better ways to stay healthy. Gym memberships can cost hundreds of dollars a year, and if you're not going regularly, that money is wasted. Frugal people find alternatives to pricey gyms. They might work out at home using free or low-cost resources, like online workout videos or fitness apps. These options offer a wide variety of exercises, from yoga to strength training, without the need for fancy equipment. If they do want equipment, they invest in a few affordable items like dumbbells, resistance bands, or a jump rope which can provide a full body workout. Another favorite option for frugal people is taking advantage of the outdoors. Walking, running, biking, or doing exercises in a local park are all free and offer a great way to stay fit while enjoying fresh air and nature. Some even join community groups that organize free workout sessions or fitness challenges, making exercise both social and economical. In short, frugal people skip expensive gym memberships because they know there are many ways to stay fit without spending a lot of money. They prioritize staying healthy in a way that's sustainable for both their bodies and their wallets. Number 5. Latest Tech Gadgets The release of a new smartphone, tablet, or smartwatch always creates a buzz. People line up to get the latest tech gadgets, eager to show off the newest features. But frugal people know that chasing after the latest technology is a quick way to drain your bank account. Instead of upgrading every time something new comes out, they make their current devices last as long as possible. Frugal people understand that tech gadgets lose their value quickly. As soon as a new model is released, the older versions drop in price. By holding on to their current gadgets until they genuinely need an upgrade, frugal individuals save a lot of money. They know that most new features are often minor improvements and don't justify the high cost of a new device. When it is time to upgrade, frugal people don't rush to buy the latest model. Instead, they look for deals on slightly older models or even refurbished devices. These options are often just as good as brand new ones but come at a fraction of the cost. They also consider buying used gadgets from trusted sellers, which can be another great way to save money. Frugal people also avoid the pressure to own the latest tech by focusing on what they really need. They consider whether the new gadget will truly improve their life or if it's just a want driven by marketing. By making thoughtful choices, they avoid unnecessary spending and keep more money in their pockets. In essence, frugal people steer clear of the latest tech gadgets because they prioritize value and functionality over keeping up with trends. They understand that Rayal's savings come from making their devices last and being smart about when and how they upgrade. Number 6. Pre-Packaged Convenience Foods It's easy to grab pre-packaged meals or snacks when you're busy or tired. They're quick, easy, and often marketed as a way to save time. But frugal people know that these convenience foods come with a high price, both financially and nutritionally. Instead of spending money on pre-packaged items, they prefer to cook at home. Pre-packaged foods are usually more expensive than making meals from scratch. A small frozen meal, for example, might cost several dollars, while you could make a similar meal at home for much less. Over time, these small purchases add up, eating away at your budget. Frugal people save money by buying fresh ingredients and preparing meals themselves, which often results in healthier, tastier food as well. Another downside of convenience foods is that they are often high in salt, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Frugal people are mindful of their health and know that cooking at home allows them to control what goes into their meals. They can make larger portions and save leftovers for future meals, stretching their food budget even further. In summary, frugal people avoid pre-packaged convenience foods because they are expensive and often unhealthy. By cooking at home, they save money, eat better, and take control of their diet in a way that's both economical and nourishing. Frugal people make smart choices that help them save money and live a more fulfilling life. They keep more money in their pockets and avoid unnecessary expenses. These decisions might seem small, but they add up to significant savings over time. Living frugally doesn't mean sacrificing comfort or quality. It's about making thoughtful decisions that align with your long-term financial goals. 
Whether you're already living a frugal lifestyle or just starting to think about how to save more money, these tips can inspire you to make better choices and achieve greater financial freedom. So take a look at your spending habits and see where you can cut back. Even small changes can make a big difference in your financial health. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.